chapter 1 verse 37 for with God nothing shall be impossible 
how to touch God for the impossible. Whenever we use the word impossible, we're not, we're not using the word concerning God. Because with God, nothing shall be impossible. So when we say something has been impossible, it means it has been impossible for man. In Luke chapter 1, verse 37, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. The angel was speaking to Mary, and the angel was talking about what was totally impossible for man. What has never happened to any man? What nobody has ever given testimony about? And when the angel spoke to Mary about this incredible, impossible, unbelievable thing, Mary started to wonder that in the history of mankind, this has never happened. It's incredible. It's unbelievable. But the angel reminded Mary that this thing will happen through the power of the Holy Ghost. And then at last, the angel said, For with God, nothing shall be impossible. There is nothing which you are able to think about, nothing which you are able to conceive in your mind that seems impossible. Anything at all. Number one, if, at, if it has happened to somebody before, it can happen to you now. Even if it has not happened to anybody before, it can happen to you. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. The reply of Mary must be your reply if you are going to touch God for the impossible. In Luke chapter 1 verse 38, Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. The moment you accept that God is greater than your problem, the moment you accept that God is bigger than your mountain, the moment you accept that with God nothing shall be impossible, and you say, here am I, I belong to God, I will serve the Lord, be it unto me according to his word, the impossible thing will begin to happen in your life. The things that are incredible, unbelievable, they will begin to, they will begin to happen in your life. There is a statement in Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 32, verse 17. Ah, Lord God, behold, thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm, and there is nothing too hard for thee. When we talk about God, we're talking about the all-powerful God. He can do all things. And He will do all things in your life. There is nothing impossible for Him. There will be nothing in your family or in your life that will be impossible for God. Everything you're looking up to God for, even though to men it may seem impossible, incredible, unbelievable and it may appear that it will never happen they are going to happen in your life in Jesus name the thing to do is don't get discouraged don't think it will never be done don't say well I don't think it will ever happen so let me just make my mind to rest if you can think about it if you can pray about it if you are still desiring it, that thing will happen in your life in Jesus' name. In Matthew chapter 19, verse 26, But Jesus beheld them, and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. That's where many people stop. That's where many people just go back home. They go to the herbalist and the herbalist says, I've never seen a case like this before. With men, this is impossible. That's why they stop. The children are giving trouble, causing trouble. Rebellious, stubborn, devilish, demonic. And then they go to a psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist says, 
I've never studied about a case like this before. With medical science, this is impossible. They give up the child. They say nothing can happen again. Or they marry a wife, and the wife has not given birth to a child. Twenty years have passed, and yet there is no child. And they go to the doctor, and the doctor says, well, this is impossible. I have never met a case like this before. With men, this is impossible. They say 20 years, you have got married and there is no child, go and marry another person. They go back home and they say, well, it will never happen again. That's why they stop. The doctor is not going to have the last word in your life. The word of Jesus will be the last word in your life. The Ambadis is not going to have the last word in your life. The miracle word of Almighty God will be the last word in your life. And all the people that are saying, with men, this is impossible, tell them. That is not the end of the sentence. I'm still waiting for the word of Almighty God. You know, there are some people that have been bleeding, bleeding. And, uh, well, doctors say, I've never seen anything like this. That's not the last word. The word of Almighty God is still coming to you. And that will be the last word. And the word of Almighty God is a word of miracle. It's a word of healing. It's a word of redemption. You know, somebody who has been a hardened sinner. Hardened sinner. And um, he will smoke. He will drink. He will commit immorality. He will fight. He will do a lot of things. And then he goes to a particular church. And he say, we've never seen a hardened sinner like this before. This one will never get saved. That's not the last word. The word of Almighty God is the last word. Look at it. Matthew chapter 19 verse 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God. With God. All things are possible. I want you to understand. There is nothing in your life that is too difficult for God. You know, some people, you know why they go to commit suicide? They go to commit suicide because their minds... Their consciences, their neighbors, their parents, their relatives, they tell them, with men, your case is impossible. And because they do not know this verse in the Bible, oh, they say, if my case is impossible with men, what am I doing on the face of the earth? Then they go and they die. But those who know God, they never commit suicide. Because your case is easy before God. Are you looking for a child? That's easy before God. Is a child rebellious and stubborn? That is easy before God. Do you have a child that is demon possessed? That is easy before God. Do you have an incurable disease? That is easy before God. Have you been going from church to church, church to church, and you have fasted and prayed, and yet there is no answer? That is an easy thing before God. God will answer your prayer. If you have been crying and crying and crying, you are going to start laughing. Because God is going to turn everything in your life around and God is going to bless you miraculously in Jesus' name. I told you. Cases that men count impossible. A person who is a hardened sinner, maybe you are a sinner. And you know that you have tried your best to come out of sin, but you cannot. Maybe that you smoke, you drink, you commit adultery, you are suffering for it and you say, Who will deliver me from this body of death? With God, all things are possible. And all the desire for alcohol, all the desire for immorality, all the desire for wickedness, He will take the desire away in Jesus' name. Maybe you have somebody who is demon possessed. And He will cut himself with stones. He will go to the graveyard. And you bind him, but he breaks the chain. And then he speaks and he becomes wild like an animal. He eats anything. He eats grass. He eats, um, he eats uh, raw fish, uh, raw or uh, raw meat. He eats terrible, terrible things. And in the night, he will cry and howl and scream like a wild animal. And um, the doctors are telling you that uh, you should allow that person even to die. What people think is impossible, it is possible with God. What's your problem? Why are you crying as if there is no God? 
Why are you sorrowful and safe? You have forgotten the name of Jesus Christ. The name of the Lord is a mighty tower. The righteous runneth into it and is saved. You have no problem if you have the name of Jesus. You have no problem if you know the name of Jehovah God, the God of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. You have no problem if you still have a mouth to pray. You have no problem if you know that there is God in heaven and, and there is nothing impossible for him. Why are you afraid? Why are you sorrowful? Why are you crying? As if, well, look at me. Look at my problem. That is nothing before God. He will remove all those things. The witches and wizards, they are after you. God will send them back. He will rebuild them. And you have bad luck in your life, God will remove everything in Jesus' name. Yeah. Incurable disease, God will take everything away. Or it is that, uh, uh, you know, you, you say, I don't know what I will do. There is nothing you will do. Just look up to God and God will answer your prayer. You know, there are those who are born again, but they are asking for sanctification. Oh Lord, make me holy. Oh Lord, make me holy. Then after they have asked for one week or one month or three months, and they are not sanctified yet, they give up. They say, well, it cannot never happen to me again Because I don't understand I prayed for this holiness and sanctification for a long, long, long time I have not got it Don't be discouraged You are getting it With God, nothing shall be impossible There are those who have got sanctified And God has touched their lives And removed their damaged nature from them And by the grace of God Their lives are holy unto the Lord But they are saying, oh Lord, I want the power of the Holy Ghost I want the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, some of you may not understand when I say power of the Holy Ghost. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you and comes within you, it makes you to join the people of God, the people like Moses, like Joshua, like Elijah, like Elisha, like Peter, like Paul, because that's the greatest blessing they had, the Holy Ghost. You read about all those people. They had knowledge, but that wasn't the greatest blessing in their lives. They had, um, uh, they had ability and opportunity to pray. That was not the greatest in their lives. The greatest miracle they had in their, in their lives was the power of the Holy Ghost. And Jesus said, Tarry in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Because he says, For ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Judea, and in Samaria, unto the uttermost part of the earth. And some people are wondering, How can I have the Holy Ghost? They be saved, they be sanctified. God has made them holy in the cleansing of the blood of Jesus Christ. But they have prayed, prayed, and prayed, and the Holy Ghost has not come upon them. They get discouraged, but don't be discouraged. The mighty power of God will come upon you. You will never be the same again. If you are weak, you will become strong. If you have not been able to pray well, your prayer life will change. And if you have been lacking the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy Ghost will saturate you, will overwhelm you, will indwell in you in Jesus' name. You know, some people are barren. And I've given you testimonies already. But uh, there are many in the Bible that God performed miracles for and they became mothers of children now when you whenever you are at home you, you look at your tummy you look at yourself you look at the mirror you say since i've got married i don't even know what they call pregnancy uh, am I, have i missed my way did i marry the wrong person what have i done what type of marriage is this then you lock the door and you begin to cry but I have good news for you. Nothing shall be impossible with God. Nothing shall be impossible with God. Ah, you say, the day I carry a baby, I will jump, I will dance. You are going to jump, you are going to dance. It's going to happen to you. Because with God, nothing shall be impossible. What then are you going to do? So that you will receive this miracle of God. Let me just tell you how to touch God for the impossible. What were found to be impossible? Remember impossible cases, salvation of hardened sinners? What do we do? So that such hardened sinners will be saved. Sanctification for those who have been praying, they have been saved, but long, long time they have been praying and praying, they have not been sanctified. What will they do to touch God for that impossible thing in their lives? Or those who want the power of the Holy Ghost? So that this other language, heavenly language will come, into, will come to them and they will have the power of the Holy Ghost or those who have been captive so they will be delivered those who have incurable diseases so that they will be healed those who are buried so that they will have children what do they do? number one, you must have a strong desire 
a strong desire very strong desire you know what that means that means you count that blessing to be very 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 important and you'll say if i have every other thing in the world and i do not have salvation of my soul i'll not be happy i'll not be satisfied that's a strong desire for salvation you say if i have everything in life and i don't get sanctification this blessed holiness experience and i don't get it i'll not be happy that's a strong desire for sanctification you say i'm saved i'm sanctified but if i do not have this power of the holy ghost i will not be totally happy that's a strong desire for baptism of the holy spirit you're sick you say i've been hearing testimonies of those who are healed and I know that I have a job, I know that I have money, I know I have friends, but if I do not have my healing, I will not be totally happy. And therefore, I am having this strong desire, strong desire for this healing. Oh, you have been praying? You say, well, I know for sure. I believe with God, all things are possible. Your case is a simple case before God. He will make you to laugh. He will give you joy. He will give you happiness. The case may be about spiritual things, about material things, about physical things, about your family. God will give you the answer in Jesus' name. Number one, have a strong desire. Number two, have heartfelt praying and asking. Heartfelt praying and asking. That means the person that will really pray. The person that will really say, God, you must bless me. With God, all things are possible. With God, all things are possible. And your case is simple before God. I said that before, I'll say it again. Your case is a simple case before God. And you know, whenever you have a problem, you'll be carrying it, carrying it. Say, oh, this problem, this problem is so great. No, it's not great, it's small. In the sight of God, that's a simple thing. And God will answer your prayer in Jesus' name. Please, turn the cassette over. The people that touch God for the impossible, they have a strong desire, heartfelt asking, they follow through, they continue in faith until the answer comes to their hand. They continue in faith until the answer comes to their hand. Continue with God, your answer is coming. Continue with God, your answer is very near. And it will make you joyful. It will make you happy. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. God is a God of miracles. Nothing with him shall be impossible. Touch God for the impossible. Rise up and touch him now. Talk to the Lord. And say, Lord, I have come. And continue in faith until the answer gets to your hand. Touch God for the impossible. Touch God for the impossible. It will be done. It will be done. Ask the Lord. Ask the Lord. Don't say you are waiting for me to pray for you. You open your mouth and ask the Lord. Show the Lord you have a strong desire. Show the Lord you can ask for yourself. Show the Lord you are going to follow through. Continue in faith until the answer comes to your hand. Touch him. Touch him for the impossible. 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 Forget the devil. Forget the statements of unbelief. Just touch him. Touch him. Touch him for the impossible. He will do it. He will do it. He will do it. He will do it. The 
There is nothing impossible. Nothing, nothing impossible. For those who pray, for those who believe God, for those who trust in God, there is nothing impossible. Don't say it is impossible. There is nothing impossible. In Jesus' name we pray. I want your heads bowed and your eyes closed. It depends on what you want. If you are blind and you want your eyes to be open, it depends on what you want. If you are lame and you want to walk, it depends on what you want. If you've been barren and you want children, it depends on what you want. The miracle power of God is here. With God all things are possible. With God all things are possible. Just keep your heads bowed and your eyes closed. I want to pray for those who want to be free, free, free from sin. You know, there are people that they have been saying, God, I want to be saved. I want to be born again. I want my life to change. All these evil things I've been doing, I don't want to do them anymore. The fighting, the quarreling, the adultery, the fornication, the gambling, the stealing, the cheating, all the evil I've been doing, I do not want to do them again. I want a change of life. I want a change of life. If the Son of God shall set you free, ye shall be free indeed. God will save you. God will forgive you. God will cleanse you. The blood of Jesus Christ, His Son, cleanses from all unrighteousness, cleanses from all sin. Heads bowed and eyes closed. If you are struggling with sin, but you want to be free, you want to be saved, and you want to have assurance that you are really born again, and from this day you will go out and sin no more, just confess those sins before the Lord and say, Lord, I will not continue in them. I want you to save me. I believe Jesus died for me to set me free, to write my name in the book of life. This adulterous heart, take it away from me. This stealing habit, take it away from me. This fighting quarrelsome behavior, take it away from me. The smoking, the drinking that has become so much part of me, take it away from me. There is terrible worldliness and the pride of life, take it away from me. I believe Jesus died for me. You can change me, you can save me. Do it now, and the Lord will do it. 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 Jesus died for you. Jesus died for you. He died for you to take away your sin. He died for you to remove all your sins. He died for you to cleanse you from all your sins. He died for you to write your name in, in heaven. He died for you to give you eternal life. Eternal life. Eternal life. And He will give it to you right now. He will give it to you right now. Just believe God. Believe God. Believe God that Jesus died for you. That He may take all your sins away. And He will bring you right into the presence of the Heavenly Father. After He has cleansed you, changed you, transformed your life. He will do it. 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 And there will be an assurance. There will be change in your life. You will know something has happened. You will know something has happened. And you'll go out, you'll be free. You'll go out, you'll be free. You'll go out, you'll be free. In Jesus' name we pray. Now if you've been like that, you're asking for salvation, just lay your hand upon your chest. You will be free. God will save you. God will change your life. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for all these who have sincerely confessed their sins unto you, wanting forgiveness and a change of life. Do it for them miraculously in Jesus' name. Cleanse all their sins away. Give them assurance of salvation. Give them peace in their hearts. And Lord, I pray you give them the power, the ability to go and sin no more. Thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to pray for those that have problems, but listen to me.
I'm going to pray just three times. The first one, I'm going to pray for all that have need of job. That you've been laboring and laboring and laboring and laboring and there is no job. And you're thinking, will I ever get job? Your job is very near. Number two, I'm going to pray for those in their families. One way or the other, you have been disturbed. Either that the family is broken, or the family is still together, there is no child, or there are people that have been tormented by witches and wizards, or by evil paths, or evil spirits. I'm going to pray, and I'm going to break all the power, all the yoke of the enemy. You will be free in Jesus' name. Now the third prayer I am going to pray, I'm going to pray for those who are blind, those who are lame, those who are deaf and dumb, those who have diabetes, those who have some incurable diseases that the doctor said, we don't know what we can do. If the doctor has said, we don't know what they can do because you are lame, because you are blind, because you are deaf and dumb, or because somebody has epilepsy, or because he has um, tuberculosis, or because he has cancer. Now, that's the third prayer I am going to pray. Miracles are going to happen. God is going to do the impossible. And God will answer the prayer death in Jesus' name. Now, you may find that you want to get all the three prayers for yourself. If you are lame, you'll be getting ready for the third prayer. And you have been lame and there is no job. Maybe you want a job after you have got well. You'll get in for the first prayer. Maybe after you have got a job and after you are no more lame and you are, you are working. Maybe you have not got my yet to want to get a beautiful wife. Well, everything is available today. Or maybe... Maybe now you are blind and uh, your wife has, uh, has run away because you became blind. Well, and you have no job. In the first prayer, you can get your job. In the second prayer, you can get your wife back. And in the third prayer, your blind eyes can open. Everything is available today. Our God is a wonderful God. Our God is a wonderful God. I want you to say, with God... Nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Blind eyes will open. Deaf ears will open. The lame will rise up and walk. The barren will have their own children. The jobless will go back home with their jobs. Let's bow and eyes closed. The miracle working God is beside you there. When you hear the last amen of the children of God for your own section of prayer, you know that that thing has come upon you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you because of the people that are looking for job. And if you are looking for job, just raise up your hand. Lord, I come on behalf of all these people. I know that you are the miracle working God. I know with you nothing shall be impossible. That person that has got a um, certificate in hand and you have done your youth service and now you are looking for a job. There is no job. That you have not got a job yet. Oh Lord, I pray right now. Give that person the job right now in Jesus' name. Amen. That person that has been doing contracts and yet you have not been paid. Oh Lord, I pray that the money will come right now in Jesus' name. Amen. That person that has promises in this place and this place and this place and another place. They'll just say, come tomorrow, come tomorrow. I pray, Lord, you open the windows of heaven right now. And give them the blessing they need in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I'm asking you that all the people that have been blocked in their businesses, in their looking for job, in the in the things they want to do in life, oh Lord, I pray right now, you will release them, you will deliver them, you will provide for them in Jesus' name. All the people that have been cheated and the enemy has taken their work away. The enemy has taken their entanglements away. The enemy has taken the contract away. The enemy has taken what belongs to them away. You enemy, I command you, right now, drop everything you have taken away in Jesus' name. 
Lord, I pray for those who have lost their job because of enemies, because of witches and wizards. All you witches and wizards, I command you. I crush your power. I cancel your power. I destroy your power. Leave them and leave their businesses in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that right now, all the people that have been jobless, all the people that are penniless, all the people that cannot pay their house rent, all the people that cannot feed themselves, all the people that cannot take care of their families, provide for all their needs in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people, they have got their jobs. Amen. Amen. Now when you live here, the Spirit of the Lord will talk to you. And He will say, go to such a place, just dress up and go there immediately. Amen. Now I'm going to pray for those who have been disturbed by evil powers or evil spirits and also those who meet children and as I pray the Lord is going to work wonders those who have been having nightmares and bad dreams there's a the time those who, have, uh, those who have mental problems anything that the evil spirits have done that they are causing there's a the time for that prayer now and the power of God is here the power of God is here you are barren, this is your chance. And you tell the you tell the Lord the type of child you want. A boy, a girl, twins, anything you want. Just tell the Lord. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Father, in the name of Jesus. I come on behalf of my brothers and sisters and on behalf of all these men and women. For those who are married and there is no child yet, oh Lord, whatever is medically wrong in their bodies, I pray that your miracle working hand will touch the body of the husbands, will touch the body of the, the bodies of the wives, and you'll correct all those things in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I pray for people, the children that have conversion. Men and women that have a epilepsy, spirit of epilepsy, I command right now. All you evil past and evil spirits, get out in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for those who have been attacked and those who have been influenced by terrible, terrible mammy water spirit and evil powers. I command you, mammy water spirit, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, get out in Jesus' name. I pray for all those who have been poisoned and I pray that right now the poison in their body will come out of their bodies in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray for those that have heat in their body. I command that that heat will vanish away in Jesus' name. Those who have objects moving about in their bodies, I command right now. You moving object, hear the word of the Lord. By the power, by the anointing of the Lord, the yoke is broken. You moving objects, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that if there is anyone here that has been suffering from mental illness, right now I pray that all those evil parts, you demonic spirits, I take authority over you. Come out of that individual in Jesus' name. Touch all these people, oh Lord. Deliver them right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you brought anybody that um, has a type of deformity that it looks impossible for the hospital, this is your chance. The miracles are happening now. The deaf and dumb will begin to hear and speak. The blind will begin to see. The lame will begin to walk. Mighty, mighty, mighty things are going to begin to happen. If you are a diabetic patient, just raise up your hand. Uh, there's a person there, a uh, diabetic patient, and anytime you, you take a beans in particular, you get into real trouble, a compound type of problem. The Lord wants me to tell you that your problem is solved already. If you have anybody that is having tuberculosis or cancer, incurable disease, that the doctors have said, this is impossible with man, I want to tell you, with God, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. Now just say, close your eyes, bow your heads. Blind men, blind women, get ready to see. 
Lame people get ready to walk. Deaf and dumb people get ready for your miracle. And those who have incurable diseases, this is your chance and this is your time. The miracle working power of God is right where you are standing, right where you are sitting. The miracle is here. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the miracle working God. You are the one with whom nothing shall be impossible. Is there anything too hard for our God to do? All things are possible with you. Therefore, Lord, I pray right now that the people that have diabetes, I cancel the diabetes in their lives in Jesus' name. The people that have tuberculosis, I cancel the tuberculosis in their lives in Jesus' name. The people that have cancer in their bodies, Lord, I speak your word of authority. You cancer germs die off and leave the bodies of these people in Jesus' name. That person that has leprosy on your skin, I command right now, that leprosy will vanish away from your body in Jesus' name. All those who are deaf and dumb, I command right now, you spirit of infirmity, you spirit of deafness, and you spirit of dumbness, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray right now that that invisible hand of the Almighty God will touch their ears, and those ears will open right now in Jesus' name. You will touch the tongues of those people, and those tongues will speak out right now in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray for those who are blind, you spirit of blindness, spirit of infirmity, I command you by the power of the Lord that is upon me, by the anointing of the Lord that is upon me, by the spirit of the Almighty God, you blind spirit, come out in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray that you touch those blind eyes right now, and they will receive the healing touch of the Lord, and they will become open in Jesus' name. That person that has one hand that is withered, I command you stretch out that hand and let that hand receive the supernatural strength of the Lord in Jesus' name. Oh Lord, I pray for those who are lame, those who are not able to walk. I pray that your power, as you are standing there with them, sitting there with them, I pray that your mighty power, your miraculous power, will touch them right now. They will rise up and walk in Jesus' name. Touch the limb legs. Touch the spine. Touch every part of them in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that whoever it is having a deformity right now, touch them right now. Give them the miracle right now. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you couldn't see before, just open your eyes. If you brought a person that couldn't hear anything before, just stand behind them and clap the hand and see as they're hearing. If you brought somebody who couldn't speak before, just um, you know speak to them simple, simple words and see what the Lord has done. If you couldn't walk before, this is your chance. If you had any deformity on, on you before, this is your chance. The miracle power of God has touched you. While they're doing that, I want you people to just raise up your voice to the Lord. Praise the Lord for what he has done for you. Oh, my God. 